Creating print-on-demand products for your Shopify store is easy to do, and it can be a lot of fun playing around with all of the different designs. In this Shopify tutorial, I'll show you how to create a print-on-demand product using Printful. If you don't already have a Printful account, hit the link in our description for a free account so you can get set up and start selling print-on-demand products. If you don't already have the Printful app installed onto your Shopify store, definitely check out our other Printful and Shopify tutorial, where we share two different ways in which you can install the Printful app onto your store. So we already have the Printful app installed onto the store. And if that's the case for you, you can go ahead and click on apps in the left-hand menu. From there, it's going to open up the different apps that you currently have installed. And we'll go ahead and click on the Printful app. It's going to take you to your Printful account. Now we're already signed in and we're good to go. If you need to sign in, go ahead and do so. And then to make your first product, all we have to do is hit the add product button. By default, you'll see all of the new products that Printful has recently introduced. And then on the left-hand side, you can search through the different products by category. So for example, if we look at men's clothing and then go to t-shirts, of course it's going to pull all of the different t-shirts. You can also search through the different collections here. And if you had a certain product in mind, you can also search for it up in the search field. So as an example in this Printful tutorial, I'm going to create a sweatshirt. When selecting your product, there are a few things that you'll want to consider. So while there are many different types of sweatshirts that we can choose from, we'll want to take note of the price, so the cost to us. You'll also want to check out how many different colors are offered for this product, as well as the sizes. So for example, this sweater goes from small to 3XL, whereas this one over here goes from small to 5XL. You'll also want to take note of where it's being shipped from. So this one is being shipped from Canada as well as the United States. Whereas this one over here on the end is being shipped from the US only. So let's say the majority of your customers or your audience lives outside of the US. You may want to reconsider using this last sweater on the right. So once you've chosen your product, all you have to do is click on it. Next, we will either select embroidery or DTG printing. Now embroidery is great for smaller images or graphics, and then printing is great for larger graphics that may cover a larger portion of the material. If you have a look up here, these are the different places in which you can print or put embroidery, but you'll notice some of them can only be one or the other. So for example, if you wanted to do center chest, it is embroidery only. And if you wanted to do the outside label, for example, it would be DTG printing only. I'm going to show you both techniques just so that you can have an idea. And I'm going to start with the DTG printing. As I said, printing is often suitable for larger graphics on a piece of material. So once we've selected printing, we can go ahead and select the colors in which we'd like to offer this product. You can select all colors, or you can choose to select only a few. Next, go ahead and unselect any of these sizes that you don't want to include, or leave it as is if you'd like to offer small up to 3XL. As you can see, all of the colors have appeared across the bottom, and this allows us to really get a sense of what the product is going to look like. And now for the fun part. This is where we're going to add our design by uploading our file. And for this sweater, I'm going to use a design that I found on Creative Fabrica. Definitely check out the link in the description of this video to the print-on-demand assets that Creative Fabrica has to offer. They're pre-made designs that you can use and put on your physical merchandise. So we'll hit the Upload New File button, browse through our computer files, and then upload the appropriate graphic. Once it's done uploading, we'll hover over it and hit the Apply button. Next, we're going to reposition and resize it as needed. But before I do that, I'm going to turn the grid on. 
just so that we can make sure that we're staying within the print area. So let's make it a little bit smaller here. And then I'm just going to move it up a touch. I'll turn the grid off just to see what it looks like. And don't forget that you have the different colors across the bottom so that you can make sure that the graphic looks okay and is easy to read across all of the different colors. I actually think it looks really nice on the white. It's a little harder to read on this light gray sweatshirt, so I'm actually going to remove it so that we don't offer this as a color. To do that, all I have to do is hit the X here. And same thing with this color. Again, it's a little bit hard to read, so I'm going to delete it. And I would assume that these darker ones are all going to be okay, but let's just check them out to make sure. Now we're only going to add a graphic to the front of the sweatshirt, but you do have the option to add more on the back, as well as the outside label, the inside label, as well as the left and right sleeve. Just be aware that in some cases, adding extra graphics does result in a higher cost for you. So just something to keep in mind. And now that I'm happy with my product, I'm going to go ahead and proceed to media by clicking on this button here. And this is where we can create different mock-up pictures. You do have different styles over here on the left. And then there's also an additional tab here as well, where you can select additional mock-up pictures to accompany your first one. So for the first one, I've chosen the flat lay here. But we could also add these extras as well. So once we're happy with our mock-up images, we can go ahead and proceed to details. Printful does offer you a default title as well as default description. And you're welcome to use as much of it or as little of it as you want. So let's say we just wanted to modify the title slightly. We can also edit the description or leave it as is, whichever you prefer. You do have the option of adding info about on-demand manufacturing. Then you can also add a size guide if you wish. You'll just need to select the measurement system. The size guide is definitely useful when it comes to making a purchase online, since your customers can't actually try on the physical item before they purchase it. You can add tags to organize the products within your Shopify store, but it's definitely optional. And then we're going to leave this checked as is so that it publishes the product right away. Next, we'll head on over to pricing. And this is where we're going to set our retail price. You can manually update the retail price for each and every size, or you can set the revenue for all of them. So let's say we wanted to make $10 per sweater. It will adjust the retail price accordingly. You also have the option to save some of your settings for future products if you'd like. So let's say we wanted to always include a metric size guide. We can turn this option on here. So once we're done with the pricing and additional settings here, we can go ahead and submit to store. And this is gonna push the product live on our Shopify store. So let's go ahead and view it inside our store. And there we have our new print on demand product, along with the mockups that we chose. along with the different colors and the sizes, of course. So that's it when it comes to printing a graphic onto a Printful product. I'll go back and show you what it looks like when we choose embroidery. So if we head on back to our Printful account, we can either make a new product by clicking on the Add Product button, 
or if we'd rather use some of the same settings as the product that we just created, we can click on the three dots here and hit duplicate. So it's going to keep the same settings as our previous item. And of course we want to delete the graphic here because we're going to try embroidery this time. We're going to select all of the colors again, just because the embroidery image is going to be a new image and it may suit some of the colors and not others. So let's go ahead and hit embroidery. And I would like to keep it on the left chest. Now there is the option to hit center chest instead, but in this case, I do want to have the image off to the side. So again, we'll hit choose file. The image that I'm going to be using for this embroidery example is an image that we've already added to our Printful library in the past. So instead of clicking on upload new file, I'm going to search for the file name instead. And that's the one that I was looking for. So I'll go ahead and hit apply. Next, we'll choose the color of thread. By default, it pulled gold simply because that was the closest color to our image. But if we wanted to, we could change the color. So I'm actually going to go back to the original and just select gold. And then of course it's a little bit too big. So we're going to make it a touch smaller. And then I think I'd like to move it up just a touch. Just like we did with the print file, we can go ahead and look at the different colors of material. And I think we're pretty safe when it comes to gold. It should show up on all of the different colors. So once you're happy with your design, we can continue on to the mockups, pricing, and description. And this time I'll select different mockups just so that we can see what the different options are. We'll hit the additional tab here. And actually what we can do is select a different color. So I had just selected the black, but we can move down and select a different color. Another thing that you can do with Printful is add a product video. Now this is a product showcase video, but just keep in mind that it won't be specific to your design. Like it won't have your design on it. It's really just a video to showcase the product itself. So the sweatshirt. Now, while it doesn't show your actual design, it can be helpful in that it shows the quality of the product and it helps your customers see, you know, what they're going to get. All right, so let's go ahead to our details. And again, we can edit the title and description. And since we duplicated the last product, it still has the size guide as well as the measurement system. And we're going to go ahead and publish the product right away. From there, we can edit the pricing whether it be manually or setting the revenue like we did for the print product. And then we'll just hit submit to store. All right, so the product is now ready. And when we did our print example down here, I went straight to view in Shopify but I wanted to show you what happens when you click on edit in Shopify. It's going to take you to the product page within your Shopify admin, where you can add additional details or clean it up if you'd like to. And this is especially helpful if you wanted to do things like rearrange the order of the mock-up images. So let's say we wanted to put this one up here with the rest of the blues. 
and maybe we'd like to move the other black image up a bit so that it's next to this one. And we can also do things like delete images. So let's get rid of all of these images here by selecting them and then hitting delete files. So now that we're done with making all of our additional changes, I'll head on up to the top and hit preview. And there you have it, we've added an embroidered Printful product to our Shopify store. I hope that you found this Shopify and Printful tutorial helpful where we created an embroidered product as well as a print product. For more Shopify and Printful tutorials and tips, be sure to sign up for our free email newsletter where we share free marketing resources every week.